and to graft agency. EFCC begins fresh investigation on ex-minister Fanny Coyote. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The Lagos State EFCC office is expecting Fanny Coyote on November 24th 2021 to answer questions on possible forgery of hospital documents to hoodwink the court handling the case against him on money laundering allegation with a view to a stolen hearing. Now the news in detail. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC is investigating the former Minister of Aviation Femi Fane Kayode, popularly known as FFK, on a fresh development burden and forgery before a federal high court, Lagos State. The Lagos EFCC office is expecting Fernand Kayode on November 24th, 2021, to answer questions on possible forgery of hospital documents to hoodwink the court handling the case against him on money laundering allegations with a view to a stalling hearing. According to the ICIR, Fanny Coyote might well be deploying a contrived method between him and some medical personnel on the medical excuses to enable him to evade trial. The EFCC, after receiving the defendant's latest letter, observed the trend Fanny Coyote's letter had taken in getting adjournment and decided to take a hard look at the development. The agency observed all the letters were supposedly issued from the Kubwa General Hospital, Abuja, except one issued from the Federal Staff Hospital, Federal Ministry of Health, Abuja. The letters were signed by different doctors, with the last one in October stating that the patient, Fanny Coyote, has been diagnosed by, doctor, by one doctor, S.A. Tobichuku, and signed by him. The agency wrote to the Kuba General Hospital on October 12, 2021, seeking authenticity of the letter. The hospital replied the next day, October 13, 2021, debunking Fanny Kaido's claim and declaring there was no Dr. Tobichuku in its deployment, and that in fact none of the names of the doctors who purportedly issued the five letters existed in the hospital records. The hospital also disclosed that no Femi Fanny Kaido has ever been diagnosed or treated as a patient at a hospital. The letterhead on the paper that Fanny Coyote used for his letters, the hospital stated, was fake and did not bear its reference number. Just as the format of a patient's number that he used did not tally with the format in the hospital database. Consequent upon that finding, the EFCC, the EFCC wrote to Fanny Coyote on November 4th, 2021, inviting him to report at the Lagos office on November 10th, 2021, for a chat. Fanny Kayode responded to the Economic Financial Crimes Commission letter on November 9th, 2021, stating he would be unable to honor the invitation because he would be appearing before an Abuja court on Tuesday, November 16th, 2021, in a criminal case and would need to prepare for the case with his lawyers. He requested that the agency shift the date to November 17th or 18th, 2021. But he did not show up on the newly appointed day. He, however, said he would honor the invitation on November 24th to 2021 and should be allowed to appear at the Abuja office instead of a Lagos office of the EFCC. But the agency promptly rejected his request to appear at the Abuja office rather than the Lagos office, as the money laundering case against him that had elicited the invitation to him was being heard at a federal high court Lagos and not in Abuja. The Economic Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, had on June 28, 2016, arranged Fanny Kayode Nenadi Usman, who was the Minister of State for Finance during the former President Goodluck Jonathan administration. Yusuf Danjima, a former chairman of the Association of Local Government of Nigeria, Argon, and a limited liability company, Joint Trust Dimensions Nigeria Limited, before Justice Mohammed Aikawa on a 17 count charge of the 4.6 billion naira money laundering trial. The defendant were alleged to have committed the offenses between January and March 2015, shortly before Jonathan left office in May 2015. Following his defeat, to President Muhammad Buhari in the presidential election. 
Fanny Coyote, who was a director of media and publicity in the Jonathan government and a member of the People's Democratic Party, defected to the ruling to the ruling All Progressive Progress Congress APC in September this year. Well, this one should not shake him because, um, you know, if you join the All Ruling, <laughs> the Ruling All Progressive Congress, like your sins are forgiven. Everything that is it, that is a matter. So, this one, of course, sincerely, it is not needed because we will not hear much of this case. To be very sincere, we will not hear because you cannot fight against yourself. They will protect their party members, the rules of their party. They even, they even obey the rules of their party more than they obey the law that is enshrined in the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is the truth. So this particular issue, it's not shaking anybody. It's not even being shaken because at the end of the day, oh, well, that will come from the big man above and, you know, everything is going to die down. That is just the truth. This is to show you how, how like I said, these people value. They attach themselves more to their party rules, more than they attach themselves to the laws of the constitution. If not, tell me, with this, ah, you're going to be scared, oh, this man... He himself might be, oh, you know, he might say, oh, what have I gotten myself into? But unfortunately, <laughs> I use unfortunately because it is unfortunate that it is happening and nothing will happen. Nothing. You will not hear of this case. A letter will come from the office of Antony, Antony, General of the Federation to discontinue the trial. Join APC and be free from corruption proof. Exactly what I'm saying. And it is the same administration that that one of its agenda then was coming in and fighting corruption that was its agenda apart from security and other things the two i can remember vividly is that i'm going to you know fight corruption and i'm going to ensure that security issue is done with within a year and it is six years and counting the security issue is still counting it's still going it's still taking lives on a daily in fact on an hourly basis I just pity this man that was ignorantly run, they ignorantly ran into Lions Den after all his force and challenging the incompetence of APC led administration. Who will be your voice when you are no more on the right path of the people? Prison is smelling on you. Okay, let's watch and see how things unfold. Okay, let's see if his friend and brother Belu will rescue him. Of course, we are all waiting. No Nigerians, if you know you are not going to be able to stick to what you say, sincerely, don't come outside and publicize yourself. Just be on your quiet lane and be going on your own. Because the minute you come out and publicize that, ah, you have this opinion and know you stand for this and you stand for that, sincerely, it is not like they are waiting for you to fail. But immediately you deviate and go against what you wrote. Ha! Trust me, Nigerians, no matter how many years ago, Somebody will take out time to dig out that particular thing you said and we use it against you. That is it. So let's watch and see how things are put for Femi Fanny Coyote. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.